I am down at the Tom Thompson Art Gallery, or the Tom, with Michael Markowski. Welcome to Own Sound, and welcome to the Tom. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. That's great. We, I want to talk about uh, your exhibition, of course, yeah. that is going to be, well, starting today, tomorrow, yesterday. It officially opens on Sunday. Okay, yesterday. Or yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, so we're all confused as to what day it is. That's yeah. what happens. It's still too close to yeah. the holidays. Yeah. Um, but you are Vancouver-based, is that yes. correct? Yes. Tell me a little bit about your background. Uh, well, I was born and raised in Calgary, and I went to art school there, and then uh, went to art school in uh, New York and London, England, and then went and got my master's degree down in Los Angeles. And uh, most of my artwork that I've made is based on my travels and experiences moving through the landscape. And the show that we're in right now is kind of a little bit different than the kind of the work that I've been making over the years. Uh, because previous to that, I was making artwork in uh, cars and boats and trains. Yeah, yeah and I know. Your artwork is quite different. And, and uh, <laughs> when I was doing some research on the, the type of art that you do, yeah. what you create, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like for instance, you were in what, an F-18? Yeah, yeah. Flying around doing your art as your, how do you even stay in your seat? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're strapped right into the, into the cockpit, you're strapped onto the ejection seat, which is itself a rocket. Um, <clears throat> And so there's not a lot of wiggle room. So it's a, it's a challenge for sure to try to draw when you're going upside down and pulling like eight Gs of uh, force. Um, so, uh, but uh, it's, it, that was a pretty amazing experience. And so when you were doing that, the type of, of art that you came out with, yeah. because I, I did look at some of it, so there were yeah. a lot of amazing clouds. And the, yeah. it, what all did you get out of that? Like what would you draw? Uh, well, you got to draw really fast because things are moving by you really fast. So you're drawing a cloud and, you know, you put a couple of pencil marks down and all of a sudden that cloud is like 400 kilometers behind you. So I would only draw for about a minute at a time because after a minute you're, you know, 2,000 kilometers right. away from where you started. So, um, the, you know, the, the most interesting part of that whole experience, and I think about it, was just being involved with the War Artist Program and the legacy of that program, because uh, the, the artists that had been a part of it, uh, many of them were members of the Group of Seven. Right. Um, and so for me, that was a, kind of like the, the greatest honor, is just to kind of uh, to have my name kind of mentioned alongside some of those other kind of really mm -hmm. important uh, artists in Canadian history. Now, I guess my next question for yeah. me is, you know, it, I'm not an artist. I'm not very artistic yeah. at all. So, you know, you have a great artistic ability. You go to school, you get your degrees, yeah. and you decide where you're going to branch out to. Sure. How did you decide to get into something like this where you're focusing on um, planes, trains, and automobiles, sort of what you're seeing in the landscape? <laughs> Yeah, well, great question. I, you know, it started out when I was living down in Los Angeles. Uh, you spend a lot of time in your car driving from place to place. And uh, it was just one of those things I just, you know, had, you know, you, sometimes you're writing down little notes to yourself. And so I just started kind of write, doing a little bit of drawings. I would just, you know, you're sitting there and you see a car in front of you and you're like, okay, well, I'll start drawing that car. And then, I showed those to people, just these real quick little squiggles, and bam, you're like, oh, that's really interesting. Maybe there's something there. So I kind of started developing it, and then I started thinking about different ways to take it and different kinds of vehicles, different kinds of places to go and you know, routes to follow. Um, and so that really kind of occupied me for about 15 years of, of my life. It's just kind of working on, on the road while I'm traveling and moving around. Yeah, it's just, it's amazing. And I, w I want to talk about, um, of course, your your display here. You, yeah. It, it's amazing. And this is the 100th anniversary of Tom's, death. Tom Thompson, of yeah. his death. Uh, and of course, all year, the Tom is going to be, I don't, celebrating isn't quite the right word for someone's death, but uh, for all his achievements and, yeah. and, and you know, trying to answer some of the questions. And yeah. I know with your work here that you've kind of looked at different aspects. And the one thing that maybe Darlene will be able to shoot later um, is the work 
of um, another artist yeah. with the facial recreation, yeah. re reconstruction, and that is simply amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's a, I, I mean, it's a super fascinating story. The whole, I mean, Tom Thompson's life and then his kind of unfortunate death, uh, which has led to so much kind of speculation and so many different kinds of stories uh, because he died under these mysterious right. circumstances. Like, you know, he supposedly went for, you know, a canoe trip and then was disappeared and found a week later floating in, the, in Canoe Lake in Algonquin Park. And no one really knows exactly what happened. And kind of the official story is he just capsized and, and, uh, and died, but how he capsized even then is, is, uh, uh, is a question. Um, and then over the years, people have come up with wilder stories that he was murdered or committed suicide or, uh, you know, I mean, so there's it, nothing like a mysterious death, especially a yeah. hundred years ago yeah. um, of someone who has become so important to all of us to really fan the imagination. Oh, yeah. Well, and that's what I've tried to do with this exhibition is I've tried to take all the different stories that are out there and to illustrate them in some way, to kind of help people visualize what that could possibly look like, as well as kind of the more fanciful, kind of bizarre things, including like uh, space aliens and uh, the Wendigo and uh, vampire situations. And so just to try to kind of outline how ridiculous this whole thing can be once you start, you know, writing down, brainstorming possibilities. Right. And I guess, you know, part of the mystery too is Lee Cemetery, is it Tom yeah. is there? Or is it someone else and Tom is who knows where? Well that's exactly so there's two parts to his whole kind of um, afterlife, which is, you know, how he died, but then what happened to his body afterwards. So like you said, after he died for a couple of he was quickly kind of buried in Canoe Lake or, or the in Algonquin Park next to Canoe Lake. And then the family uh, requested his body be exhumed, so they uh, they hired some guy to come up and, and to dig up the, the coffin and, and to move it. But there was always this speculation that when that fellow did that, that the coffin was a little bit too light, and they thought some people thought that maybe the guy just threw a few rocks in there and called it a night, and um, so people thought maybe he was he had never actually left uh, Algonquin Park. And in the 50s, about 50 years after he died, some guys, you know, had a little bit of whiskey and went out there with some shovels and dug up the, the supposedly empty grave and they found a skeleton in, in what was purportedly to be Tom Thompson's grave, uh, causing all sorts of, you know, uh, wild More speculation. More speculation yeah. again. Yeah. Um, you're going to stay with me. We're going to talk a yeah. little bit more about uh, yeah. your, um, all these wonderful I don't know what the right word is for different depictions of what could have happened yeah. to Tom. We'll be right back. Don't go away.